Emily Cooper. Bonjour. Bonjour. I got a feeling I'm in trouble when I look at you. Uh, I'm Emily. You're a new neighbor? Enchanté. Emily in Paris has caused debate on Netflix last week. Among them was Luca Bravo. The world has been captivated by Chef Gabriel. And there's a reason why Emily found herself drawn to him, seeing Luca not only extremely charming, but handsome as well. If you're wondering where he's been prior to his role as Gabrielle, Luca primarily appeared in French language television and films. Luckily, the 32-year-old actor is adding a few more global roles to his resume, including the upcoming film adaptation of a movie about Dior with the title Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, a film to be shot in Budapest, London, and Paris. You probably don't need any more reasons as to why you should join the Luca Bravo bandwagon, but if you're still on the fence, here are the five things you need to know about this newest French hottie. Luca is born to Danielle Bravo, a French professional footballer, and Eva Bravo, a singer. It's no surprise that Luca has taken to the world of showbiz so naturally. On the professional side, he went to study cinema in Los Angeles, California at the famous American Academy of Dramatic Arts, but he started his career as a model. Apparently, Chef Gabriel do exist because Luca used to be one in real life. Well, I used to be a, I used to be a sous chef in a restaurant um, a few years ago, and uh, so I, when I, you know, when I first got the scripts, I was like, oh wow, this is definitely for me. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to use those skills. And so they made me cook the omelets I made for Emily in the show. Luca was thrilled at the idea of getting to work with Sex and the City creator Darren Starr on Emily in Paris. I don't want to make any comparison with Sex and the City because it's any, everybody's going to uh, draw that comparison because of Darren and Patricia. I was also a fan of the show. In his interview to Glamour, he said, I adore Sex and the City, honestly. I watch it so many times over and over. I learn so much about things you should or shouldn't do, in bed or elsewhere, thanks to that show. That's why I felt pressure the first time I auditioned for Darren because he's so iconic to me. This past summer, after living in Paris for so long, Luca decided to relocate to Fontainebleau, a small town in the countryside which he considers the forest. Luca told Glamour that living in Fontainebleau, he could hear nothing but the wind in the trees and the birds in the morning. He also confirmed to Glamour that he's not dating anyone at the moment. When asked by the outlet whether he would date a fan, he stated that, I don't really have fans, so I don't know. Well, he certainly has fans now after Emily in Paris, so that answer at least gives us hope. Je m'appelle Arnie. Merci de voir. Au revoir.